got you in hands-free mode today so hopefully it works out if the video is too bad I'll uh, edit out the bad parts but we're gonna get in this nice cool water oh it is cool and walk down through here and uh, you know, see what we could find look here's the coal the coals clear up on the bank and uh, take a little bit of that out you could carve some pretty cool stuff out of this coal notice it doesn't sound like a rock and uh, there's a lot of it it's a thin seam by two minutes coal yeah put it in a can and heat it it'll make uh, it'll make some nice uh, coke for mountain metal and that stuff and uh, right here we have the zone where my nephew who finds all kinds of stuff says that I should be looking let me push you up a little that I should be looking he says I should dig in the bank along here and that's where the artifacts will be and uh, if I start a channel like that I might do that because I've got a I've got a lot of creek that I can uh, access so but you can see there's dirt and then there's them little gravels and supposedly that's that's where the stuff is and uh, we're walking downstream so we're muddy in our creek you can see the coals clear over here and uh, I guess if I wanted to <laughs> I could uh, get a backhoe and mine this but You know, if the powers that be decide that, you know, electricity is too much for us uh, common folks to have. You see, here's another bank of uh, the clay. What I want to do is you come down around the turn here. We're going to hit some, you can see this rabble and you can see the coal seam. This is a second coal seam. There's the coal seam that we had up there and there's a limestone or shale that I'm walking on right now. And uh, you can see it right here. I think this is the shale. And uh, I believe that, uh, let's see what color it is. Yeah, you see that's a good, that's the limestone there's the coal this whole bank is a uh, eroded shale uh, we come down through here when we first moved here this creek was clear clear up here and this was underwater 25 years and then if you look around here, I'm trying to look for uh, trying to look for that arrowhead shape. You'd think I'd be pretty good at seeing it. And you would think there would be a lot here. This is a nice valley. There should have been a lot of, uh, you know, pre-contact or even after contact um, people living here there's lots of game animals forests you see uh, all that forest up there and um, you know I keep wishing for the day that I would find that I would find you see all the little minis <laughs> don't worry minis I'm not after you but that there is the original creek bank from our uh, move-in. We had a few hurricanes and stuff and uh, it's taking care of a lot of it. 
Now one of my plans I had was right here at this rock base to sink some pylons and uh, funnel this waterfall and put a turbine. Now, I still might do that, but we're, uh, you know, I'm getting a little to where I don't have the energy for that. Now this under here, this is a, I'm not sure what this black rock is, but you can see it there. I think that's the oil the shale they get oil out of. And uh, I was hoping it would be hard enough to be nappable, but it's under this limestone, and then another limestone, and then the coal, and then the clay. And unfortunately, my limestone doesn't have any chert in it. But there is uh, some carnelian and stuff. And I think that's Ames limestone right there. Ames or uh, Benwood. But I see there's a leaf right there. <laughs> yeah, this rock, this rock caught my eye. <laughs> Too bad that's not something. But look at it. You could think that was something. I might keep that for an abrader. It feels pretty good. I don't know if you can make a knife out of sandstone, but that's what that is. Pretty awesome. I would love for my first arrowhead find be to be with you guys. And all of this, this is all eight down. And uh Used to be, until this caved in, there was a family of minks living under there, and you can see the coal there. There's another coal seam, and then a banded slate. It doesn't hold together though, and it doesn't have the pretty colors, or I'd be digging that. And uh, I tried to nap this limestone. This is a... Uh, This is some hard limestone. See that? That's some good, good hard limestone. And that's a by two minutes coal. If uh, see it breaks, it breaks like chert, but. When you do the small flakes, it doesn't really flake that well. I guess you could, you know, grind something out of it. That might be a thing. But as you can see, I've got tons, <laughs> literally, tons of it. And if you could spall off, let's see if we can spall off. I should have brought the sledgehammer. But you see, it, uh, it breaks with the sharp edge. But it won't make a point. I tried. And then we've got a, you know, washout zone. More of that 
soft. Coal, I guess. Guess it's more coal than shale. Surprisingly, haven't seen any snakes yet. But, you know, you never know what you find. I think this is too deep for uh, artifacts to come out of. I mean, how many thousands and thousands of years is that? And that's for a lot, quite a lot. And that might be why. We don't find artifacts in our creek. Um, you know, all these gravel bars. Oh, there's a nice, uh, see all them minnows? I never even knew this mini hole was back here. Next time I go fishing, I'm gonna have to set my trap back here. There's the big ones. Every once in a while you see some nice catfish in this creek. Look at all them minis in there. Now this must be from the flood. That's a big steel beam. Big steel beam just in the middle. All this limestone. That's my garden pump pumping. Pump water out of the creek to the garden. <laughs> and the minis just swam into my leg. Basically just a creek walk. Sometimes you find some interesting stuff. There's all my woods and uh, you know hunt up there cut trees there's some hickories there's a cherry there's a maple these are maples that I believe is a witch hazel Now look, look, look at that. Doesn't that look like a big blade? Really just a random piece of rock. <clears throat> Grainy sandstone. There's my ladder I go up and down when I come across and I go up to go hunting. <coughs> Creek used to dry up all the time. Um, when we first moved here. It would dry up and it would flood and it would dry up and it would flood. But it has uh, it has worn itself a bank that's pretty deep now so it hardly ever comes out of the bank anymore. And it, as you can see we've had a dry season. It hasn't dried up at all. So with that I think that's my creek walk 
for the day. I hope, uh, I hope some people enjoy it. Here's a, here's a big piece of that limestone. And you can see it breaks with the, with that fracture. And it's pretty even um, in texture. But wow, that that piece is actually that piece is actually flaking pretty good. See there, and it's sharp. Not as sharp as obsidian, but it's sharp. Let's uh, see if we can get a decent sized spall off of it. Look at that. I could see an arrowhead in that piece. <laughs> oh, it broke. Oh, that's churdy. Just going to take this whole piece and I'm going to call it a video. I'm going to take this whole piece and go up to the shop and spall it out. And that's going to be my video for the day.